Hello, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Yep, it's been quite some time since we've, uh... Since we've played this one, I'll tell you that much. Last time we beat First World, Mumbo's Mountain, and we opened up the note door, so... Clearly, whoa, what is this wor <laughs> room? Because last time the episode ended with me standing like this. So yeah, I don't know why I had to do that again. I guess to show you, uh... I don't know. Never mind. Anyways, if you come down these stairs, you can find uh, this talking cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. There's a mumbo skull back there. But we won't need it for the next world. Because there actually is not a transformation in the next world, surprisingly. Um, nothing else really notable in here. Oh, well, this lady over here... Is Brentilda or something? Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda. Call it Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. We're gonna go back and do those at the end of the game, and I'll actually write them down. So, uh, oh my God, man, it's right in my way. Uh, yeah, Carol. Anyways, Treasure Trove Cove, as you can read down there. This is the name of the next world. To remove piece you've already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all pieces are stuck there permanently. So, we put our two pieces in and we unlock the second world. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Treasure Trove Cove. Definitely when... And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, yeah, who cares? To my little stories about this game. Oh, she was going to say something funny or something. Anyways, we come into this room, hop across this. Actually, we're going to do this now. If you swim inside this sewer pipe here, you come out and hit this room. You could jump out of this. Come to just like this small room. And another warp. Unfortunately, it's not of the same color as the one we found previously, so... We don't have a warp made yet. If you hop up here, you get your first golden feather. Lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Or, yeah, bothers, bottles will tell you more later. We don't know that move yet. We won't for until World 3, actually. Anyways, if you hop down here, see all the sand, and you're just like, oh, you know you're close. You know you're getting there. And there it is. Big old treasure chest. Hop inside and we start world two. Hell yeah. Ahoy there. This be Treasure Trove Cove. Thar be two new moves for ye to find. Your first Jinjo's easy right down here. Yeah, that's easy enough. Anyways, so much to do, so little time. This world actually somewhat big. I would say that's one of the game's a bigger world, um, unfortunately. So it might take a little while to get everything done here. Anyways, let's fight this guy. Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us, then, Crustacean Brain. Your cheeky bird need feather slipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, Shellhead. Anyways, you're gonna wait till he stops clipping and then go peck his face off. I don't know why I'm playing this as if it's a tutorial, because no one should be watching this for a tutorial. Should be watching this just, you know, just to watch me go through the experience. Memories and shit. Right, back to what I was saying. Whenever I think of this game, I always think of this world. Um, I don't know why. It's just, it's the world that, it's definitely not the most memorable, I'll tell you that much. There are far memorable worlds later on. And we grab our first Jiggy. One out of ten. Man, my capture card gets intense amount of lag when I look at my screen, but on TV it's completely fine. I'm just playing it as if I'm normally playing it. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, I was at work and uh, a few days ago. I was just sitting there and I was like, man. Because I had the biggest urge to play this game. And 
that's the weird thing about Banjo Kazooie is that I don't really have this with any other game, but or not as often as this game. But I just sometimes have the biggest urges to just pick this up and play through it, it especially the second one. Banjo Kazooie is a far better game, but this one's more up there on my list because just how many memories I've associated with this one. I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. Anyways, we're gonna learn that right now. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, better be easy, ba guys. Simply enough, even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Yeah, yeah, it gives us 25 red feathers to start us out. That's what I thought. I didn't know if the green ginger was gonna be up there or not. I thought. I know one of them has the Mumbo Skull, and then there's Green Ginger at the top of the other one. Oh, word. Hey there. Or, ahoy there. I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost my treasure when my ship crashed. How on earth do you get your ship stuck like this? Like, honestly. It's like sideways in a cove with no connection to water. Like, what on earth happened? Yeah, basically there's two holes in his ship where you swim down into these little rooms and you grab the treasure. And I can only imagine what he's going to give us for returning his treasure to him. The second one's right down here. This world just seems mundane to me now because that's another thing is I think that also has to attribute to the fact of why I always think of this world when I play this game or when I think about this game in general. Like, when you say Banjo-Kazooie, I think Treasure Trove Cove. I think it's because this is the level that I've played through most, probably. I'm not sure. Speaking of the sniffles, I actually am uh, sick. I seem to have contracted some kind of coldness um, at work today. And I was like, well, shoot. There goes my lotto money. <laughs> no. But yeah, I actually did wake up, because I had a shift at 9 a.m. this morning, and I was like, damn it, I don't want to work that, no one wants to work that early. So, basically what happened was, um, I woke up at 8.45. Now, funny thing, I bike to work every day, so, clearly, biking was not an option, considering I live generally a 45-minute bike ride away from my work. So... I was either going to be late, or I was going to be, um, or I was going to have to, uh, get a ride or something. Luckily, I did get a ride, and, oh shoot, we didn't learn the jump disc. Oh well. Anyways, hold on. Me leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? I can't block with a pebble, but I can shit in some eggs in you and block it. And he empties the water for the sandcastle that <laughs> sandcastle that you didn't even know was there because I didn't even look at it. Or did you? Anyways, there's some notes on top that we're gonna grab. And we're gonna go inside. Oh shoot, I grabbed his treasure but didn't return it to him. Wow boy, am I stupid. Anyways. Hey Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win my prize. Or a prize. <laughs> I'm thinking too much like Grunty, calling everything our prize. Anyways, this puzzle's fairly simple. You just have to spell Banjo-Kazooie. And later on, it... Well, hmm. Uh, <laughs> First, I'm going to say, this is actually the place in the game where you enter all your cheats. Um, because, well, clearly... Like, if I had a... <laughs> if I had a nickel... No, if I made a video game, I would want a room like this with a lot of letters and it's like a word puzzle and that would be where you enter your cheats. And they do it in this one, also in the sequel. That's two like word chambers like this where you can uh, type in cheats and there's a puzzle there and everything. That's our second jiggy. But yeah, the thing I was thinking about that might be a spoiler is I'm not going to say too much, but let's just say later on, uh, you have to do that again, 
but um, you have less time and you have to spell backwards, so. Used to trip me up a lot as a kid. I was like, what the fuck? When I got to that part. Alright, might as well learn the shock spring thing. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Okay, there's a jump in there somewhere. Does Kazooie do it? My legs hurt. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Nice going! You've learned all the cove's new moves. Yeah, but fortunately we still got a whole lot of more moves left in the game. That's four mumbo tokens. Anyways, we're going to go this way first. Because, uh, this actually leads to our next Jiggy. Grab a few feathers there. Feathers and eggs are never really a problem for me in this game. I never tend to run out, really. Which is weird. I don't know when normally do people play through this, do you tend to run out of eggs and stuff a lot? Because I don't. I don't know, I just hardly ever use eggs and... I guess feathers and all that, there's so much in the world that you never really run out. And it's not like I go around collecting everything, but you know. Anyways, we got some notes up here. Yeah. Fun fact, when you kill those guys... Oh no, I fell off. When you kill those guys normally, um, they will drop one honeycomb piece for you, but if you actually ground pound them, they give two. You'll find that somewhat later. Some enemies will uh, give you two honeycomb pieces depending on how you kill them. Or dispatch if you don't like the word kill. <laughs> oh man, my sickness is getting the best of me. Gotta take some uh, Advil or something. But then again, what a better way to spend a Saturday night sick sitting at home playing Banjo-Kazooie, right? Like, this is pure bliss for me. Second favorite game of all time. We got our honeycomb piece out here. The other one's not too far, either. Or at least I don't remember it being. Okay, another mumbo token right here. Yeah, we're just generally doing a giant circle around this map. And we'll eventually have everything, <laughs> once we circle it enough. Get out of there. Okay, we got it. Nice. <laughs> Imagine if those clams were going like nice every time they jumped up like that. How are, how ridiculous, not ironic, would that be? 76. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 Toasty. Oh, look at this. X marks the spot. You know what that means. What? Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Yeah, you can follow my ass if you're looking for turds, but don't mean you should do it. I'm not going to be flying... <laughs> not flying just yet. Slow down their bottles, you know? Give me the whole fucking tutorial just because I took off for two seconds. I'm going to grab a few of those. And then... Oh, no, because... Mm, see, the path splits off right here. I'm gonna go up these and collect the jiggies for now, or the notes. If these were all jiggies, we'd be done in a few seconds. I'm gonna grab two mumbo tokens in here, because Lord knows those come in handy later. And then on this back side, we're gonna jump off. I can't see shit. Okay, I landed. Yeah, generally if you just stick to the wall and jump off there, you'll land on this part. And if you follow these, you come to another jiggy. Hooray! What's that, four now? Yeah, four. Man, we're already up to 15 minutes. Ah, uh, cheese and crackers. Just wait there. I taste nothing like cheese and crackers, and I can imagine Bear and Bird do not taste anything near like cheese and crackers. Anyways, grab our second honeycomb piece. Let him chew on our butt for a little bit. Now we get out of there. Ugh. Talk about fail. Alright. Nothing in there, as far as I remember. If we head up this way. We 
got a mumbo token down here that I want to grab. So yeah, how is everyone? If you're even watching this. I tend to find that Banjo-Kazooie and Earthbound tend to not get that much views. I don't know why people just don't like it. Either that or no one really cares. People are too sidetracked at the fact that Bully is a blind LP and kind of a ridiculous game and even from a regular standpoint it's a ridiculous game. So a lot of people I can imagine would tend to gravitate towards stuff like that. I can imagine this is probably boring hearing me just go like, yeah, click that, click this, click that. Oh, stingity snap. We only got one Jinjo left. Yellow, and I know exactly where he is, too. Then again, I know where exactly everything is in this game, so... There's no point in me saying that. Half of our jiggy's down. Warp, warp. Right, that arrow, that pointed this way. And there's the second X marks the spot, right there in the background. So generally, we're gonna have to follow these. Bam. God, if there's something I would love to talk about right now, it would definitely be the music in this game. Like, is this not like the best tropical, like, vacationing music ever? Like, my god. Oh, shoot. Shark food. Shark. Shark. Shark face. Shark fuck face island is raised. That's no fun. That's actually very depressing that that's raised because it's not supposed to be. Let's just say in the N64 version, that would be a very tiny island with just that sign on top of it. It wouldn't be a. Wouldn't be a mountain like that with a cave to enter. But I'll show you all that. Um, probably at the end of the LP. Because all that stuff involves a whole stop and swap mystery. And I'll be sure to explain all that in a later episode too. There's a lot of rumors and just stories around this game that are just awesome. So he says question mark. Ha, huh, you know, now you never find me. Well, if you look at the island right off the shore, boom, there he is. This ruddy jackass thinks he can hide. Let's kick his ass, sea bass. And boom, a jiggy. And boom goes the dynamite. That's six. And three quarters. I've been told I have a sexy voice, by the way. Uh, too bad it was by a guy. <laughs> Anyways, if we fly up to this little cove, this guy says, This be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. Yeah, I would touch it, but only if I dare, because, well, Grunty's booty. No one wants to touch that shit. Literally. That golden treasure was my booty. Now, harder still, the booty will be. Ew. Imagine if your ass was made a solid cinder block. How would you shit? What would happen if you fought it? Uh, either your ass would just completely crack due to seismic waves and activity, or... I don't know. It's a good question. Anyways, we're gonna try to find our way back to a flight pad here because as much fun as flying up to that guy and, uh... Oh, look at that, a useless extra life. Um, as much fun as flying up to that guy and grabbing Gruntilda's booty. Oh, you know what? I didn't even... <laughs> Still haven't returned this guy's gold yet. Damn. Most forgetful bear on the planet. No, that's probably Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh and Banjo need to have a duke out. See who would win. Me treasure. Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, 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 spend. Yep. Lord knows what he's going to spend that on. I mean, jeez. If I had a boat called the Salty Hippo, and I was a Salty Hippo myself that burped all the time, I'd probably be spending my money... Mm, I don't know. What would I be spending my money on? It's a single note down here because they want to tease your shit. 
find 99 notes in the world, and then you go fucking ballistic looking for one, and then you find out it's right there. Yeah, that's me venting my childhood stories again. <laughs> God, I used to love this game. I still do. What am I talking about? I always climb up here, and that's where the last Jinjo is. It's practically Daredevil. You've been awarded a gamer pick. Lucky you. Too bad I already have it, asshat. So I don't really need two of them. Anyone want a gamer pick? <laughs> Alright. We got five more notes. And seven more eggs. No, I'm just kidding. And here's the witch switch for the world. And boom goes the cannon. <laughs> Let's break this. We're breaking in. Oh, damn it. We got your back! See, now if you know the show breaking in, that's funny. I don't care who you are. 100 notes and 10 jiggies. And that, and that, as they say, is that. Or maybe not. Anyways, let's get out of here. Uh, as for what we're going to be doing next... Wait, hold on. I'm so not singing that in key. Because I'm singing it to the recording, not to the actual game. Wow. Never mind. That part probably sounded so off-key, it's not even funny. Anyways, look at that. Mumbles Mountain, we did in 11 minutes. Treasure Trove Cove, 110, 2 in 18 minutes and 24 seconds. We're going to slide off here, as risky as that is. Son of a bitch. I just had to land on that little spit of sand right there. Anyways, we're going to get out of this world because... Uh, <laughs> we're going to make like a tree and shit. Where on earth is the, uh... <laughs> Where on earth is the exit as I run towards it? Where on earth do we go next? Right, Clinker's Cavern is next. <gasps> Spoilers. Ah, uh, he's going to kick my ass. I saw that coming in like slow motion. I wanted to shoot myself. Anyways, we're not giving up just yet. We're not calling this a episode just yet. The sad thing is, is that these episodes are going to get longer and longer because the world slowly start to take longer and longer. And I'm eventually going to have to have worlds take two parts just to get everything in them because shit gets ridiculous later. Anyways, we're going to go back. We've got to get back in time. Yeah, as you can see, our next note door is up there on top of that plateau. But I'm not going to go up there because of fear of actually being able to open it. Hold on, how much is that for? Yeah, 180. We'd be able to open it right now and go on to World 4 and 5 if we wanted to. And yeah, this is actually the part of the game, and I always wanted to explore this. The way Banjo-Kazooie works is that if you're 100%ing past Treasure Trove Cove, you get to choose any one world to skip, and you'd still be able to make it all the way and beat Last Boss. You can only select one world to skip, though. And, ow. But, yeah. I always thought that was interesting, how the game works like that. Like, for example, when I beat World 3, I'll be able to skip, like, I'll get to World 5 and 4 and 5, and I'll be able to unlock the note door there, be able to skip one of them, and go to World 6 and 7. But, yeah. You know, that's just how this game works. Anyway. We're going to take a rest in here. We're going to take a load off Manny. Take a load off Manny. And up there is the puzzle for our next world. So I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did watch. Um, I got to go. Uh, I don't know what I got to go do. I ain't going to go do shit. Anyways, I'm hoping I can time this right. To, uh, I've got this skirt. So when I'm thinner. It really makes me look a winner. Chicken dinner. Greg Kinnear. Anyway, I've talked enough.
My sickness is getting the best of me. Oh, Catherine, why have you betrayed me? Anyway, we're going to call it a night. And day. Day and night. Hey, hey. This song's fucking terrible. Then again, most modern day music is. Anyway. Living in a gangsta paradise. Yeah, see, that's more like it. That's classic rap shit right there. That's like Tupac status. That's like bad... That's badass shit status right there. Anyways, stop, dude. Stop. No, stop. Stop. Stop recording. Stop saying stop. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna say bye now. Bye-bye. See you next time. I don't know. Should I... Re <laughs> Wait. You didn't finish what you were saying, asshole. Oh, you're right, Danny. Thank you. I'm so sorry. No, it's cool, man. We'll hit it up later this weekend. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Um... I don't know, want to watch Firefly? Sure, why not? Anyway, yeah, what I was saying was, um, <laughs> fuck, why have I sat there for this long talking? Oh my god, it's been over a minute. <sighs> what I was saying was, um, can't remember. Damn it, caught me red-handed. Uh, um, shoot, he's right behind me. <laughs> Kazooie. Perfect timing. Um. Yeah. Why am I still talking? Oh my god. Uh, I just had it in mind what I was gonna say. Right, I remember. I was gonna time um, Mad Monster Mansion, which is another world later on. Ho oh. ho. What the fuck? Uh, some crazy shit just happened. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'm supposed to time... Once again, crazy shit going on outside my house. I'm gonna have to go kick someone's ass. Anyways, see you later, Maxi and Maxine. Um, I'm trying to time Mad Monster Mansion with Halloween. There, I said it. Bye. <laughs>